Hey, y'all, welcome to Vetted. I'm Patrick. We have quite exciting news. You may have heard already. David Grush has come out in another interview. Uh, Jesse Michaels is his name. That's the YouTube channel. And this gentleman got David Grush. It's a two hour, I would call it like a documentary, to be honest, like a YouTube documentary about UFOs centered around David Grush. And then it breaks off into other stories. Honestly, I like the way he does it. Um, <coughs> to be frank, I was kind of inspired by Jesse Michaels uh, when we started Vetted. If you look at some of our earlier videos with Nick Pope and Avi Loeb, that's what I did with the interviews and sort of tangent off and added other things. And um, yeah, this is a great, great piece. Again, two hours, well worth investing. We're going to watch the first five minutes because it's like a little trailer of what it's, you know, to come. So I'm going to give you a little tease here um, so you can check it out. And look, there's a lot of kind of the same old, but credit to Jesse Michaels. He really piece together a nice, you know, coherent story about the UFO topic. Um, and a lot of other great additional pieces, um, apart from David Grush. So yeah, he really filled it out, let's say. Uh, so it's well worth watching. David Grush doesn't really release any new information. He kind of does, um, maybe like innocuous little details that for some may be fun to know or whatever. Um, others not, I don't know. Um, so anyway, you know, let's jump in and, um, you know, see what this is all about. Um, you know, originally we actually tried to get Jesse Michaels in an interview months ago. Okay. Cause again, I've been a fan of his for a minute now. So please check out his channel. Um, I think when I was a fan, he had just under a hundred thousand, I think, I mean, he's at 126,000 now. Uh, people are really going to find out about his channel. This video went to 1.2 million views in two days. Um, it, it had had, honestly, it had like, it, in the first 24 hours, that had close to a million. It was crazy. Um, anyway, we tried to get Jesse Michaels on and he couldn't come on. He wasn't doing interviews and now I know why. Now I know why because I did want to talk to this guy because there is some other things about him if you watch other videos he's done right? Special interviews with Lou Elizondo, right? And in fact, um, if you watch this documentary, right, with Jesse Michaels and David Grush, uh, it might, you'll notice they go on the same walks, even like the same paths, like trails out in the whatever, you know, woods, like it's the same with Lou Elizondo. So, and I think Lou Elizondo probably had a hand in this maybe, right? Uh, but anyway, Jesse Michaels has done some amazing videos, amazing interviews. This kid is great. Um, really, really like him. Big fan of his. And I'm really glad that he got this story and is able to tell it because he really does just give it like everything he's got. And you can tell from the quality of the production. So anyway, let's jump in. Enough of me blabbing. My bad. Here we go. Three men who previously served in the military are set to speak publicly about what they saw in the sky and heard behind closed doors. All right, one more. The guy in the white tan suit. They have let in 15 people from the public. There is David Grush, who's a former intelligence official. He has knowledge of a covert government program to recover crashed alien spacecraft. You solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. That is David Grush, a former Afghanistan combat veteran and 14-year high-ranking intelligence officer. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. Hey, you travel light, man. In 2019, he was tasked by the Pentagon to investigate UFOs as part of the Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena Task Force. I had no interest in you know UFOs or whatever, but I thought it'd be kind of an interesting thing to see what was going on. During his investigation, Grush started to uncover a program that was being systematically hidden from him, the American public, and our elected representatives. We're done with the cover-up, and we're going to get to the bottom of it, dadgummit. A program whose mandate was to find and retrieve crashed UFOs and attempt to rebuild them into functional vehicles that humans can fly. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, well, this is a thing. 
Thanks to new UFO whistleblower protections, Grush gave comprehensive documentation about these programs to the Inspector General in the summer of 22. He had brought people on the secret UFO programs directly to meet the Inspector General's team, and had even given the staff the names of the aerospace companies involved in these programs and the locations where the UFOs were ostensibly being kept. I filed my complaint, I told them who to interview, and you know they ultimately were like, holy shit, this is incredible. In June June of 23, he outed himself to the public, giving News Nation and the debrief exclusive interviews. Do we have bodies? Do we have species? Or Naturally, um, when you recover something that's either landed or crashed, sometimes you encounter um, dead pilots. Then in late July, he testified before Congress in Washington, D.C. The hearing was a wild moment in history. Yup, there I am with a Mark Hand deal from the second best YouTube channel online, Yes Theory. If you want instant inspiration and exposure to untold human stories across the world, throw them a subscription and stay tuned for their UFO documentary, including Dave, coming soon. I've known Dave for about two years when we were introduced by a mutual friend who had served on the Air Force with him. And through many a phone call, he's put up with my wild speculations on the truth behind UFOs. Sometimes I'm like hanging up the phone, you <laughs> call me and I'm like, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> I think he's really <laughs> losing his grip. No, <laughs> good. So, okay, gonna keep this going. There's a couple more minutes left of this intro, but I just thought I would talk about this part real quick. Um, so that's interesting. Again, I don't know how much you want to dive into this yourself, but so Jesse Michaels is saying he's known him for two years. All right. Through a mutual friend that they serve with in the Air Force. All right. So Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp are saying that they met him last year. Right. Same with Ross Coltart. He met him through Nat Kobitz. Right. And Lou Elizondo is friends with Jesse Michaels. All right. Brett Weinstein. Right. These I just don't know what's going on behind the scenes. There's definitely a lot of connections with people that just isn't really talked about. Um, I just think there's more to this of David Grush and how he came out. I'm not saying anything nefarious. Um, I'm just saying it's interesting. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying that's interesting. So for two years, Jesse Michael's been calling him, talking to him. So even before Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp. So do you think someone led him to those guys, right? Or David Grush, he seeked them out on his own? Um, you know, they don't talk about that. Does it matter? Not really. Honestly, I mean, it does and it doesn't maybe. I don't know. Um, again, if someone says over at X, there's Y, forget it. If it's, let's just go check that and then none of the other stuff matters. So you know, David Grush and his claims and the, you know, whatever, that's really the most important. But it is interesting if you do want to dive deeper, some of these connections and sort of the web of people that's behind the scenes that have come and gone and still linger, you know, around. Um, it just goes to show that, like, the truth is the UFO community on the back end, like the top people, they're really all connected for the most part. They really are. Um, and there may be some reasons why they don't want that to come out. It could hurt David Grush, right? And if that's the case, I totally understand. But it is interesting, the timelines of all of this right now, okay? Because this interview drops, then I got another video coming out about the aliens dropping on, um, you know, the Mexican Congress, like real alien bodies. I mean, and then also we've got NASA with the report coming out tomorrow, um, Right. We got this thing with Chuck Schumer. I mean, holy shit. Is this uh, is this really happening? Like, again, I want to reserve all of my excitement for the day of disclosure till it actually happens. I don't want to rob myself of that moment. But things are very exciting. And are things getting diluted? I don't know. Let, look, let's watch the rest of this real quick because it's great. During the lead up to the hearing and in its aftermath, we were granted exclusive access. Right, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. We actually held the first and only public hearing with Dave and 20 young Yes Theory fans in Washington, D.C. after the congressional hearing. So, again, they just quickly mentioned that this guy right here from Yes Theory has another documentary with more David Grush coming out. 
So there will be another piece with David Grush coming out very, I don't know how soon. Um, we'll obviously keep you informed of that. I wonder what that will entail. We'll find out. Traveled with him, hiked the mountains of Colorado, got covered in dust on ATV. This is where, I, if you look at Jesse Michael's channel, he's got this interview with Lou Elizondo, and they're out in this same area. He's so Hung out with some llamas. What's the name of the llama? Playboy. Playboy. I think the name of the llama was Boy. And of course, had a long-form conversation. We discussed the history of covert UFO research programs, their connection with Robert Oppenheimer in the Manhattan Project, why presidents and elected officials may have been shielded from the UFO secrets in the past, and of course, his best theories as to how these UFOs fly, who their occupants are, and why they're here. <laughs> While you'll see a candid side of Dave that you've never seen before, he's still somewhat limited in what he can and can't say. Uh, I don't want to get into the specifics. Okay. I don't want to get into that. Yeah, I can't really. Can't go really beyond. Can't make a personal. Yeah, I don't want to get into that. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. If anything slips that wasn't pre-approved by the Defense Department, he could literally go to jail. But there's a lot of pretty insane new stuff he does say. Manhattan Project, they were kind of the first blue book. Do you think Bob Lazar is full of shit? Have we made any agreements with any of the aliens? Do you have a sense of, you know, the species? And if you combine our open source research with his revelations, you can actually piece together a sort of coherent picture of what's going on with UFOs and human attempts to reverse engineer them. Buckle up, I guess. So without further ado, this is the atom bomb of American alchemy episodes. It's been marinating for months and it was executed with Manhattan Project style secrecy. All of the crew members weren't allowed to disclose what they were working on, but I'm so excited that it's finally dropping and you are here to see it. So get your radiation goggles on, hit subscribe, and brace yourselves for a brain dump of everything you've ever wanted to know about UFOs from today's American alchemist, David Grush. So again, guys, check out the video. Look at that, 152. It's excellent, okay? It's excellent to watch. And um, yeah, you know, real quick, something about this. Um, Mick West made a comment on Twitter X, whatever you want to call it, that David Grush should just release the document he submitted to DARPSA, you know, requesting what he could and couldn't talk about, um, which I thought was interesting. Um, you could just release that document, then we know everything he wanted to talk about. But to be fair, it's nice to hear him talk about it, right, and actually give some context and because just words on paper you know, don't always tell the whole story, I feel. So it's less personal. So like, I understand. Are there other things in there that may hurt him? I don't know. Um, there, there was some speculation like that. Like, well, if he doesn't want to release it because he's trying to make money and he's a grifter. and uh, You know, look, everyone's got to make a living. Okay, the word grifter gets thrown around a lot. And are there some? Yeah, you know, but there's also people out there that are looking, you know, to sort of just believe in things and they don't really need it to be true or not. It helps them with their life. And that's, and I, I don't know what's wrong with that either. You know, let them, let them believe in it. Right. Or whatever. Uh, I hope that wasn't confusing, but I, I just hate disparaging people. Again, uh, this channel is not about hate. So <coughs> anyway, Check out this video, um, Jesse Michaels' channel, um, right here, this kid. Disclose what they were working on. Okay, great stuff. Look, he's got even this great interview with Alex Jones, uh, this reverse engineering UFOs, Jack, Jack Valet, Hal Putoff and Eric Weinstein. This is a great one. This Graham Hancock one is amazing. Um, they're all well-produced like this. Um, look at this, the dark truth, UFOs and nuclear weapons. Um yeah, just some really great uh, conversations. Uh, this one with Stanford professor um, Gary Nolan, right right here, UFOs. I mean, look, it's just a great, great channel. And he's friends with Eric Weinstein and Peter Thiel. Like, he worked with them, and he helped um, Eric Weinstein launch his podcast, The Portal, 
uh, as well, Jesse Michaels. So, yeah, man, I'm a fan of this guy. He's great, and this video's great, and hopefully we can get him on uh, the podcast for an interview. We're really going to try to do that, actually. Um, and, yeah, check out the video. Let me know what you guys think of the comment, if you liked it, if you didn't, if you thought it was a cool video um, or not, or what you think. Um, the thumbnail was a little iffy for me. That That's the only thing I'll say about it. Kind of made David Grush look a little goofy. Um, but if you watch the trailer or the first five minutes here, the, 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 the thumbnail they use is in there. For a split second, he makes that face when he turns to camera when they have that shot. Um, and they used it. And I get it. That's how you, you know, you make thumbnails. But I don't know. It, I felt like he deserved a more you know, noble thumbnail or something um, rather than that. But again, that's kind of, if you look, they probably discussed it with them and, you know, this will get more or whatever. I don't know, you know, views. I, I'm not sure. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, as always, I'm Patrick with Vetted. We'll see you in the next video. Alien bodies from Mexico, y'all. What? What?